I'm Anil Kumar and we are going to apply the techniques learned in trigonometry to solve our questions on maximum and minimum, I could say optimization. The question here is, determine the angle for which a triangle with adjacent side lengths of A and B will have maximum area. Let me sketch one triangle here. So any general triangle we're talking about, right? So let's say this is a triangle whose sides are A and B. So one of the side is A, the other one is B, with the angle between them as theta. Now the question here is, determine the angle for which a triangle with adjacent side lengths of A and B will have maximum area. So we need to find the angle for which this triangle will have maximum area, right? So that is a very basic question about uh, triangles and relation with trigonometry and area. Let us see how to solve such a question. And this is going to form base for most of our questions which are about to come. To find area of a triangle, we need to draw up a perpendicular. Let us say this is the perpendicular. In that case, what we know is area of a triangle is equals to how much? Area of a triangle is equals to half base times height. Now in this case base is given to us as B so we have half of B times height and we need to find what this height is. Now in this particular triangle we have a right triangle with hypotenuse as A. Now we can write height in terms of A, right? We know sine theta is what? Sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. It could be written as H over A. And from here we can write A times sine theta equals to height, right? So that is important to understand. So if you want to find the opposite side, it is A times the sine of that angle, right? So we can write height as a sine theta. So let me write here a sine theta as height. So now we know that area of a triangle in terms of theta is half of a b times sine theta, right? So let me write this as a, area as a function of theta. The angle is half of a times b times sine theta where A and B are constants, right? These are the given sides and therefore they are constants. Since we need to maximize the area, let me find the derivative of this function with respect to theta. So the derivative for this function with respect to theta will be half times A times B is a constant. Derivative of sine theta is cosine theta. To find critical number, we'll equate this derivative to zero, right? So that will give us the critical number. Perfect. Now, when is this zero? Cos theta is going to be zero when theta is going to be pi by two, right? So, so theta equals to pi by two. So we have half of a b cos theta equals zero. That means uh, cos theta should be zero and that means theta equals to pi by 2. So the critical number for us is pi by 2. Now, if you consider what values theta could take in this particular situation, we know theta could be greater than or equal to 0, but less than or equal to 180 degrees or pi, right? So that is how the theta could be in this particular case, right? So we'll consider uh, any triangle where theta will have that kind of a range. Now, if theta has got that restriction, in that case, the area for theta equals to zero will be how much? So, area for angle theta equals to zero is going to be sine zero is zero. Sine pi is also zero. Is going to be zero and which is going to be same as area when theta is pi. So in both these conditions, we have zero. Those are the boundary conditions, right? 
So any value which we have got here as a critical number will lead to maximum, right? So this critical number is indeed the maximum. So that is how we could say that this is the maximum for us. Another way to find the maximum is that we could now find the derivative, second derivative of the function. So that is an alternate way. So second derivative for this function will be half of a times b. Derivative of cos theta is minus sine theta. So you get minus sine theta, right? Now for the angle of pi by 2, this value is going to be negative, right? So, so we can test the value for pi by 2. So we know the second derivative for pi by 2 will be equals to minus half a dot b sine of pi by 2. So sine of pi by 2 is 1, we'll get this value as minus half a b, right? And since it is negative, it is less than 0, we know we have a maximum for the critical number, right? So that is how also you could prove that the critical number is maximum, right? So in this video, what we have learned is that for any triangle, if we are given two sides, then for theta equals to pi by 2 or 90 degrees, we'll get maximum area. We also seen that in a right triangle like this, which we form, height could be represented as a times sine theta. And we have reviewed the strategy of finding critical number as a maximum with the help of boundary conditions and also with the help of second derivative. If second derivative is negative, then the critical number indicates a maximum, right? So this video actually forms base for most of our questions which are about to come. So I'd like you to understand these basic ideas and explore some complicated questions which we are going to begin understanding. Thank you and all the best.